thanks for watching. We're going to be going over how to solder, tips and tricks, quick and easy. Um, I was on YouTube and this guy had like a 20 minute video talking about a bunch of stuff that is not going to be necessary unless you're going to become some professional soldering person. Well, I'm going to go over quick things if you're just going to want to solder one, two, three, four times. You don't need all that useless information talking about lead free solder, um, silver solder, which one you're going to use. If you're wiring for electronics, you're going to want to use your lead free solder. If you're using it for like um, outdoor stuff or it's going to get wet, you're going to want to use silver solder. No big deal. And it probably won't even cause you a problem if you're going to use the other one. But he talked about corroding and this and that or other stuff. Useless information that you don't need. Okay, if your soldering tip is dirty, you're going to want to get some contact. Get some sandpaper, scuff it up by doing that. So you're going to be cleaning up your solder tip real nice and shiny. By doing that, it's going to get good contact. And then what you're going to want to do is get your solder. And look at that. Nice and clean solder tip right there. So if I'm going to be soldering this resistor here to this black wire, I'm going to go on the red wire. You can either, you can twist it on there and that'd be a good thing to do is to twist it first and if you want to get you some flux this helps clean and bond your solder so it's nice to have some flux on there and I'm trying to make the video fast because this is not a 20 minute video it's quick and easy got the flux on there just a little bit is all you need and you got your solder and what you do is just contact it real simple this isn't rocket science so you don't need a 20 minute video so that's why I don't understand why some people got to do that. But they do make more money the longer you watch their video with their commercials. For you guys who are messing with electronics for your first time, you're going to want to have some electrical tape or if you want to get serious, some shrink tube. Shrink tube works where you cut off a little piece of shrink tube and you take a little lighter and you heat it up. Just for instance, I'll try to show you guys real quick. Cut a piece. Use a regular lighter, but I'm going to show you guys how shrink tube works. It shrinks around your wire so it doesn't get any contact with positive and negative. You can use a regular lighter. If you don't have shrink tube, just use electrical tape, little piece, wrap it around, no big deal. I wanted to show you guys a real cool trick that I learned that I wish I would have known because I always mess with electronics and I used to use my teeth. And a lot of you people probably do the same thing. Check this out. Take a lighter, put it to it for a couple seconds, just move it around, take your finger and slide it away. And guess what you got? bare wire. You don't got to break your teeth or chip a tooth. My dad actually chipped his tooth on one of those. But I'm going to show you guys the proper way to wire up two wires with solder. And what I'm going to do here is cut this and this is just for um, what do you call that? Example purposes. There I go. Doing the same trick again. Real easy. Heat it up. The proper way to put your wires together to solder something is you have these fuzzy wires. Let me cut this for me real quick. And if I'm going too fast for you, pause and rewind it. You're going to stick these together and then twist them together. By doing that, you're creating a really good bond. Give it a little bit of a twist. This way, when you solder it together, you're going to have an awesome bond. Let me get a piece of tape here. Tape this to my board that I'm using. Right there got my solder and if you want to dab a little bit of this flux here and just wipe it on there it just bubbles right up and it gives it a really really good bond um, got my solder here check this out and if remember what I told you guys in the beginning of the video if your solder uh, tip is really bad then you just have to rub it on the sandpaper but that's how you make an awesome bond with your solder it's actually still hot, but that's how you create a good bond for your solder. And don't forget, if you guys are going to use shrink tube, to put this on before you put your solder together or else you won't be able to get your shrink tube on there. But then you can always use your electrical Thanks tape. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out, especially if you're a beginner on soldering. Um, just give me a thumbs up. That's all I ask. I'm not going to beg you to subscribe. And thanks again. Bye-bye.